Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good day to Dr. Nur Atikah binti Nasir. Okay, my name is Nur Shafida binti A. Karim. Metric number 1172338. So, in this video, presenting to you about the latest innovation in waste management in Malaysia, which is the Asia, where it treats from the trash to ash. Malaysia generate a lot of solid waste which is the creeping problem, especially in light of recent revelation that the country has become the global dumping grounds for plastic waste after China to for a good honour. Government statistics reveal that Malaysia, 42,637 tons of waste daily in 2007, which is expected to reach 44,888 tons per day as the population increased, especially in cities. The legis that have been constructed are often high in cost in terms of investment, operating expenses and maintenance. Idea Innovation The Asher, a machine that claims to continuously turn garbage into ash without using any fuel but the garbage itself. The inventor is Mr. Roland T. Chi Sang, who is 72 years old uncle, might have created a solution to the world trash problems. The Asher is local 100% innovated and invented in Malaysia. It is Malaysia invention. The Asia is essentially a tiny trash generator that's 6 meters tall and can, re can reduce the most solid waste material except for glass and metal into ash. The pizza oven looking appliance is actually a machine that bakes trash using hot plasma without releasing harmful gases. Plasma pyrolysis process to bay and steam waste and turn them into ash which will then be converted into fertilizer. There are three types of the Asia, which is, is two tons solar, two and half tons electric smokeless, and four tons electric smokeless. For solar can be deployed of grids on island, rural area, and village. For the two other types of more suitable for the urban setting, where it really is only vapor. To make sure this invention was safe and environmentally friendly, Roland put it through extensive tests. Some of the laboratory agency he went to where is SGS and NYCO2, which is which are inspection and certification company for industrial and chemical product. The result proved that the Asia could comply with both compliance and environmental aspect. Initially, promoting his invention to a small level of friends. Roland eventually approached Palmer Rice Chamberhead for a potential partnership to expand and grow the issue. Government agencies have expressed interest in collaborating with Palmer Rice to market and introduce the issue overseas through a government to government program. The issue has seen received a Mikey Jar certification on 24 September 2020. It's a green label given out by the Malaysian Green Technology Corporation, an agency under the purview of Ministry of Environment. Benefit of this innovation The Asia is a Malaysian solution for global problems. The Asia ultimately can help the government to save the large amount of cost spent in waste management annually and reduce the amount of trash into the landfill that can save the cost of collection and transport waste to transfer situation. Evolving from there, the government can utilize the ability of the Asia to provide service to other countries to assist in waste disposal issue, especially the issue of illegal and non recyclable plastic. The Asia is circular green solution. By using renewable energy from the nature, the Asia takes the waste produced by the world and decompose it into ash that can be reused to fertilize the environment. Regraining the earth and healing the planets powered by nature to green the air. From the ash, it can utilize in the production of brick. However, there are currently two Asia that are accessible to the Malaysia public. One is in Tamas Jahdras Rakyat Sungai Tuk Pawang, Kedah, which has been operated and maintained and managed by the Kampung Folk Samsa. And the others is at the recycling center in Session U2 TTDI Chaya Shalam, which is owned by the local council Majlis Bandaraya Shalam. Conclusion and recommendation: Although the machine is safe 
and easy to use. It can still be offensive if handled improperly. Ideally, the Asia should be made and operated by a train and designed to personal. Whereas the accessibility to the public should be limited until the point of dropping off at the temporary storage container before loading into the Asia. In my opinion, government need to invest in this Asia, this innovation for the, uh, for our country waste management in order to keep the environment clean and reduce the trash into the landfill. So, this is some reference that I used during my study about the Asia. So that's all from me. Thank you.